Hi gang! In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a scalloped hem to a garment. And before we get started, please take a moment and subscribe. The first thing we need to do is use the white arrow, which is the shortcut A, and we are going to select the hem of the shirt. So I'm going to click on the hem and I'm going to cut it, which is Control or Command X for cut. I'll release my selection by clicking anywhere on a blank area of the page. And now we're going to paste it in front, Control or Command F for front. So we put it right back to where we started. And now we can add an effect to it to create our scallops. So we're going to go up to Effect, go down to Distort and Transform, and select Zigzag. When zigzag opens, you can see it is adding a zigzag to the hem of my garment. And you can see it looks a little odd and it's just because I've added a little curve to my garment, but once we adjust the size, it'll all work out. Now here you can play around with the size and make it more shallow or you can increase the number of segments. But the real magic here is clicking on this little button that says smooth. When we do that, it turns the zigzag into little scallops. And now we can adjust the size. I'm going to make this smaller because I want them to be more shallow. And you can see this is three points, so maybe we'll select this and type in two points. Or you can use your arrow key on the keyboard to move them up or down. But I think I prefer the shallower ones. We're going to go down to two points. And ridges per segment, you can do the same. Select it and either nudge it up or down to adjust the number of little scallops you have on your hem. I like them bigger, so I'm going to do fewer scallops. The last thing you need to be aware of is make sure that your number of ridges per segment is an odd number. Notice if I make this an even number that these don't end at the same place on either side of my curve. If I change this number to an odd number, you can see that it's balanced on both sides and that's what we ultimately want. Once you're happy with your scallops, click OK. Now, we can't just join them because, as I stated before, if we try to join these two pieces together by selecting both and going right-click join, we're going to get this, and this is not what we want. So I will undo that, and we'll manipulate this path in order to solve the problem. The first thing we need to do is go up to the fill and make sure that we remove it. The fill should be none. Then we're going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance. And what this is going to do is change it from a path with an effect to a path with anchor points. And if I switch to the white arrow, you can see now it's actually a path that's got curves to it. And now we can join it back together. Now, sometimes this will line up the way you want it. Other times, it won't. So we can tweak this a little bit. I can either move the bottom or I can move the sides of my flat. In this case, I'm just going to click this side anchor point of my flat and I'm going to nudge it out a couple of clicks and I'll do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just using my arrow key to nudge it out so it aligns much more appropriately. Now I'm going to grab my white arrow and I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to grab my black arrow and I'm going to select my little wavy line here on the bottom and my flat and right click join right click join and now I just need to fill this again with white it's become transparent so we're seeing through to the back so I'll hit D for default to fill it with white and now we just have a little layer order to deal with if you look at my layers you can see that my white fill is sitting on top of all the other details that make up this top so I'm just going to send them to the back. I can do that by right click, arrange, send back word, and I'll need to do that a few times to get it where I need it. But you can see the shortcut key is control or command left bracket. So let's do that. I've got the front selected and I will just control left bracket. And I'll do that a few times until all my details come back and I've got my shirt the way I want it. I hope you learned something. If so, please support my channel by liking the video and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next time.